Job one when producing a pantomime, find a top of the bill. I had the strangest way of finding mine, but don't, I'm not going to tell you about it. Here's Jamie to tell you about it. <laughs> and uh, you're going to end up in pa Panto, aren't you? Your yeah, first time ever. Yeah, I'm in Panto ever. this year in Barnstaple, which is How really come? exciting. I'm, a, I'm the Beast slash Prince in, uh, in Beauty and the Beast. Right. Um, and I can reveal that I have to wear a, a beast head. Um, wow. And I've, I've actually tried it on and it's really intense. Um, <laughs> but it's brilliant. It's going to be a great well, I hear it's down to this show that you're doing that. Is that right? Were you well, yes, spotted? because um, on the last time that I was on The Right Stuff, the, um, the, the producer, Lee, um, who's a great, great guy and a good friend of mine, saw me and, um, he is now, he didn't know me at the time, saw me and uh, said, OK, well, I want him, I want him to be the beast. So he rang up my agent and said, can you, oh, can wow. you get Jamie along? So we had a chat and um, I've always wanted to do it at least once, because I think it's a real great English oh. tradition. And yes. it, 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 it's oh, the one no, time of year. Oh, no, he didn't. Exactly. <laughs> it's the one time of year that over 80% of the industry are in work as well. Really? It's really important. Christmas, join us at the Queen's Theatre Barnstaple for the most beastly of all family pantomimes, Beauty and the Beast. Starring Mick Dundee as Jean-Pierre, West End star Andrew Edwards as Gaston, Melissa Potts as the beautiful Belle, chart topper and Eurovision favourite Nikki French as the Wicked Witch. From ITV's Benidorm and the London Palladium, Bobby Crush. And me, Jamie Lambert from Britain's Got Talent winners Calabro. Friday 8th to Sunday 31st of December, join us for this beast of a pantomime. It's Saturday the 18th of November 2017 and the time is quarter to 12 and I am sat in my car and got everything packed up as I am about to leave my lovely little home in Kingston and head off to Barnstable in North Devon into Panto land. Now I've posted several things previously about how nervous I am going off to do this because this is the, although I've done loads and loads and loads of Pantos, about 200 as as, um, as marketing and as associate producer, various different roles, um, this is the first time I'm directing one. Um, that wasn't a decision that I made, that was a decision that was kind of forced upon me by a, by a colleague who I curse every night I go to bed over the last two months. Um, 
yes, I'm nervous because it's the unknown. Yeah, I've just got to rely on my gut instinct and my passion to get me through this and uh, not let down an uber talented cast, an uber bunch of talented people that I'm working with. Um, I'm taking a leap of faith, but I give my word to those people that I'm working with and to the people of North Devon and Barnstable, you are gonna get every single ounce of my passion, experience um, and creativity to give you a show that you deserve. Right, let's get this show on the road. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you're never coming round. Every now and then I get a little bit tired of listening to the sound of my tears. Every now and then I get a little bit nervous that the best of all the years have gone by. We certainly did light up North Devon. A massive thank you to everyone who helped us promote the show, particularly the North Devon Gazette, the North Devon Journal, and the fabulous Voice FM. In particular, Hops. We had an amazing time on your breakfast show. I think radio's ace. And the gorgeous Victoria Graham made us so welcome at BBC Radio Devon. I kept Bobby busy by sending him to Capital Radio in London to record the radio advert. And when he was in rehearsal, he certainly kept us entertained. Yes? Yeah, give me a kick. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. After night, half tomorrow night. <laughs> Thank you, boys and girls. Bye bye. <laughs> I think every pantomime needs a Bobby Crush. He's an absolute star. So I wanted to give him a really spectacular entrance. So I stuck him in a hoop and flew him on. Bobby wasn't the only one to take to the skies in Beauty and the Beast. Miss French also earned her wings that Christmas. Here she is on her maiden flight. So Miss French, how are you feeling before your first flying <laughs> lesson? <laughs> well, as I say, it's the first, thing, the first time I've had anything between my legs for a long time. <laughs> Okay. Look, Jack, I can fly!
to your heart The pleasures of life a la carte Come dance through the night And forget all your woes The city of light How it glitters and glows And one never knows what will stop